Hey, I'm Brett Heisen, and welcome to LA's coolest nature exhibit, the Pavilion of Wings, here at the Natural History Museum. Today, we are immersed in a world of color as we take a delicate look at the life of a butterfly. with Leela Higgins, who is the manager of citizen science and live animals here at the Butterfly Pavilion. How did you get into entomology? I grew up in England on a farm and I was outside all the time and I just really loved being in nature and the insects were a part of nature that really fascinated me. I found out that my school had an entomology program and mm. I kind of was like, oh, what's that all about? There was only three other people in the undergrad program at the time and I thought, sounds a little weird and eccentric. I think it's for me. <laughs> Took the class, loved it, changed my major, no looking back. All of the butterflies that we have here in the Butterfly Pavilion are all native to North America. The monarch has a very beautiful orange and black coloration. So this one right over here, we have an orange one. This one looks like, yep, it's a male up there. It's got little spots on its hind wing. What are some tips for bringing butterflies into your backyard through backyard gardening? You can plant two different types of plants in your yard to make butterflies show up. You want to plant nectaring plants, mm -hmm. so the adults have something to eat. So those are the nice big flowering plants. Pensus is a really good one. Butterfly bush called Budlia is also another great uh, nectaring plant. But then you also want to plant host plants because if there are no host plants for the butterflies to lay their eggs on, there aren't going to be any, uh, you know, the life cycle yeah. can't continue. If they don't have the right plant, they're not going to lay eggs. Wow. And so if we had butterflies in here that there were no um, host plants for it, it just wouldn't lay eggs. Even if it had eggs inside, it would just die. So let's find some caterpillars. These so, eggs are super tiny and they're going to become caterpillars. And you can see these ones that are clear, uh -huh. there's a little tiny hole in them, they've already hatched. Caterpillars, when they first emerge out of the egg, are so, so small. How long does it take for them to become that big? Two to four weeks. It's actually kind of fast. I know, you wouldn't think, but caterpillars can move quite fast. You can see it's six legs. It's so cute! The pupa is for butterflies, right? In moths, it's called a cocoon, and in butterflies, like this one right here, it's called a chrysalis. Right now, it's, it's probably all liquid in there, and it's rearranging everything, and the huge wings will come out. She has led us on this beautiful tour. We have learned so much about butterflies. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for coming.